Hey everyone, this is Phoebe from the Bugsnag team. If you're joining us from the error inbox video, welcome back. If you missed that video, I'll put a link to that on the screen. Now, let's get started. Clicking on any error from the inbox will bring you to the error details. The error details may contain different information depending on your platform or project type, but the general format of the heading includes the following. The error class, where the error occurred in your application, the message being thrown by the exception, and the reasons why events in this error were grouped together. Above the error heading, you'll notice different pivots for viewing the data in your error reports. We'll show you the events pivot by default since it contains the most critical information for debugging, but other pivots contain list views of the users impacted by an error, the release stages the error occurred in, app versions, browsers, and any custom filters you've added. So for example, this demo project that I'm showing you is based on a mobile app with a camera feature, so you'll see custom filters like shutter speed. You can also update the workflow status from within the error details by assigning the error to a Bugsnag user, opening up a ticket in your issue tracker, or linking the error to an existing one, marking the error as fixed, snoozing it, or ignoring the error. Beneath the workflow icons, you'll see a histogram of this error over the past two weeks, and on mobile projects, the average device state details. The most recent event will display at the top of the list with key diagnostic data needed for debugging. You can click on the event to collapse it and scroll down to view other events in the list. The diagnostic data captured with each event includes a full stack trace with raw version available, crashing threads, breadcrumbs showing you the steps to reproduce an error, including user clicks, database queries, device rotations, or other actions you want to track, app version info, device specs, user details, and any custom metadata you've attached to your error reports. You can click the process icon to turn any field including custom fields into custom filters or attributes that will be searchable from the error inbox. Custom attributes also display in the drillable summary to the left, so you can see at a glance how the values are distributed across the error. Clicking on any of the values in the summary table will add that value as a filter displaying only events matching that criteria. Alright, now that you're familiar with the error details, I'd like you to go ahead and watch this next video on search and segmentation. Thanks for watching!